how to unlock your woman's femininity. First, I'm gonna tell you what the femininity is. I'm gonna tell you why you need to unlock it, why it's the best thing you can ever do in a relationship, and then I'll tell you how to do it. So let's get into it. I'm not even gonna waste your time. First, what is the femininity within a woman? The femininity within a woman is when she is 100% expressive of her emotions. It can flow through her freely without blockage. Femininity within a woman is nurturing, is caring. It's submissive to the direction of, of, of to the direction of the greater purpose. Think of a masculine man as the sailor to a ship and think of the feminine woman as the ship itself. Without the sailor, the ship would be lost at sea. Without the boat, the sailor would be drowning in the water. So when one can fully access their woman's femininity, they then have something keeping them safe from the water. So how does this look in a relationship and why you would want to do it? You know, I'm gonna tell you a shortcoming that I see a lot of men have. Men, it's harder to access our emotional state because of how logical we may be. That's one of our shortcomings. Women, one of their shortcomings, they may be too emotional and fail to use logic at certain times. We both have shortcomings, men and women. But when we can combine, when a man can access his woman's femininity while she also accesses his masculinity, then we become greater than the sum of our parts. Now, emotions that I haven't felt, that I can't feel fully, she can feel for me, with me, and help me access, if that makes sense. I may be going through something tragic, and while I'm looking at it too logically or denying the emotions of it she feels it for me and through her nurturing and calmness she can help me let go and let my guard down thus causing me to feel what I haven't felt before you get what I'm saying you ever see a man a man acting all sappy and shit when he get into a relationship acting all sweet and all that baby talking and all that you know what I mean because she accessed his she unlocked his masculinity and opened the femininity within him, causing him to feel soft and be able to let go. You can have, you could be the hardest nigga in the, in the streets. You could be the hardest nigga wherever, but as soon as you um, get into that relationship, you soft and now you open. You know what I mean? And shit. Once you have kids, holy crap, now you real soft. But that's the beauty of it, though, because we ain't supposed to just have our guard up all the time, and that's why I believe that. Men and women have their purpose, and when we fully can access that, then we can blossom. So yeah, that's the prerequisite. Now let's get into how to unlock a woman's femininity. So if you wanna fully unlock your woman's femininity, the first thing you have to realize is it all starts within. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. As within, so without. You can't have her fully step into her femininity if you didn't fully step into the masculinity within you. You get what I'm saying? It's a lot of men who have no purpose. And as soon as they get into a relationship, they make that woman the center of their life. And that's gonna turn her off. There's so many men who have no purpose and don't know where they're going in life. If you don't know where you're going, if you have no sense of direction, how can she follow you? You get what I'm saying? She needs to know, oh, he knows where he's going. I can follow him and be led to a safe place. And I'm not saying you have to have it all mapped out like a pirate, you know, X marks the spot on a treasure map. You don't have to have it all figured out, but you have to at least have some bit of awareness of where you want to go before you step into a relationship. You know what I mean? And you have to have discipline. You have to have drive. You know, a man who hit in the gym every day, who, who, who better in himself, who, who, showing up to work on time, etc., is going to 
make a woman like you way more than somebody who isn't doing anything. You know, they just laying on the bed all day, you know, not doing anything. If you up there jerking off, squeezing your honcho until you bust, then how you expect a woman to even wanna uh, stay with you? You get what I'm saying? It's, it's, it, it's just something that you gotta think about. You have to put God first. You know what I mean? Always put God first. And then put your purpose right right under that. You know, you have to know why you're on this earth. Why God called you to be alive in the first place. And you have to live according to that. Your girl comes after that. And she'll like that more because she doesn't want somebody who is willing to throw away everything in life for her. You gotta think about that. So if you want her to access her femininity, you must first be a man and have your masculinity access. You must have your purpose, you must have your drive. You get me. All right, let's get to the next thing. All right, this next one, this next one really gonna blow some of y'all minds. You know what I mean? Cause I used to not know this, but I caught on all thanks to God, you know what I mean? And now I see what women be doing. So this next one is you have to be able to make decisions. You have to be able to choose and you must stand on your choice with confidence. Watch this. If a woman asks you what color dress should she wear, red or black, don't say it don't matter. Don't say it don't matter. I know logically it don't matter. Like it really don't because you taking an hour to get ready and we was already supposed to leave out and the place is like 30 minutes away and I'm hungry. You get what I'm saying? Like it don't matter. Logically it do not matter, bro. It don't. But to her it does matter. You get what I'm saying? It do matter. And it's not just the dress, but what matters is your ability to see that she's in split decision and unify that decision as a man. She doesn't know whether to go, she doesn't know whether to go right or left. And she's calling you to help her choose which way to go. That's what matters. The dress is but a facade for the truth behind it. You get what I'm saying? If you aren't able to be trusted with a little, you won't be able to be trusted with a lot. So if you can't choose if she, what color dress she should wear, then how the hell are you gonna be able to choose which house y'all should live in if, if y'all get married? Which car should y'all drive? Which state should y'all move to, et cetera, et cetera? Which school should your kids go to? Those who are trusted with a little can get trusted with a lot. You know, and if you wanted them, oh, you look good either way, baby. <laughs> she don't want to hear that shit, man. She don't give a damn about that, man. She want to know if you can just decide. And that's why I caught on. And now if any woman asks me, what should she do? X or Y, I always choose. Rather she in a relationship with me or if she just my friend or whatever. Their femininity is calling for your masculinity. You know what I mean? And you need to decide so that you can unify her chaos. And that's the beauty of it. It's the yin and the yang. So next time your woman asks you for what should she do, blank or blank, she's testing you to see if you can handle that, right? You know, where should we eat at? Here or here? What, what should I do? Da, da, da. Should I do this or that? Should I get my hair cut like this or that? Should I get these color nails or that color nail? Choose. Just decide. Trust me. You'll be way better off. The last thing that I'm going to say in this video is commitment to a relationship. I grew up with the belief that Committing to a woman make you soft. It makes you a simp. Uh, showing any bit of affection makes you desperate. It makes you needy. Partly because the reason I believed that partly was because, you know, all those podcasts that be out, red pill, blue pill, all that garbage. And then on top of that, 
just giving my heart to the wrong people so they would take it, trash it, and leave because of it. And I thought that I was the problem when that's just not the case. I'm gonna say this now, it's nothing wrong with choosing one woman and it's nothing wrong with showing your affection. If it's Valentine's Day, it's nothing wrong with you writing a love letter. It's nothing wrong with you doing things that show that you care about this woman. The problem lies in if you're doing it out of neediness, if you're doing it too much or too soon. You get what I'm saying? If you knew her for a week, calm down. You don't like her. You know, how can you like her and you only knew her for a week? But if y'all going strong and staying steady, it's nothing wrong with displays of affection, you know? And it's and in order for you to unlock your woman's femininity, you will need to do that on occasion. Like, you don't gotta do it every day, but you get what I'm saying? And on top of that, you would need to commit to her and let her know that you are committed to her and building the relationship. You have to let her know you're commit committed to, you know, the the overall. What the hell am I trying to say? You gotta let her know that you wanna. You got what I'm saying? Like you gotta let her know that there's no other woman in the picture. Like you you know you you doing all this to make her jealous and shit it's only gonna push her away eventually like cool first week week one week two week three you got your little games you know what i mean you doing what you need to do to spit your game to, you know what i mean like yeah obviously you're gonna keep your options open on week one you, you trying to just figure out stuff that's fine month one maybe month two i don't know but eventually there comes a time where you have to say all right i'm here i'm here for you and i'm here for this and we're going to work on this and we're going to take this to the next level because I want to have kids with you. I want you to be in my life forever. And I want this to become a dynasty, a kingdom. You get what I'm saying? And that will fully unlock her femininity if you choose the right woman and you do that. You get what I'm saying? And again, don't make her the center of your life. Your purpose is still beyond that. The problem is you... If, if that failed you, the problem is you're either doing it with the wrong woman or you're doing it and you're doing it too hard. Like, you're doing it with the idea that I need to do this so she won't leave. Like, that's not how you, you know, it's nothing needy. If you leave, you leave, peace. But it's just, you're here now. Let me treat you out to something. And then let me go back on my grind. That's how you do it. That's how you handle it. So, yeah, if you want to fully unlock her femininity, you have to let her know that you fuck with her. You gotta let her know you like her. You know what I mean? You gotta let her know how you feel and let her feel that. And if she the right one, she'll like that. You got what I'm saying? Yeah, man, but I'm just going off the cuff right now. Just some things I thought of that I could go more in depth on in the future. Um, she might test you by seeing how you handle danger. You know, when something go wrong, when it's a tragedy or just an inconvenience, you have to stay calm. You got to show her that you got it all under control. You can't be panicking. You know, you got to tell her, relax. I got this. I got this. I can handle this. You know, that can that really uh, help her open up her femininity because she knows that when stuff go wrong, you there. You know, on some Superman type stuff. She might also test your aggression. You know what I mean? She might, uh, she just want to see if you got that dog in you. She might just want to see if you got that. You know, I'm pissing on fire hydrants, nigga. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, I learn as I grow, you know, and I just thank the Lord for giving me people who I can learn from. So yeah, if there's something you like to hear, let me know and I'll continue to make videos about this. But, um, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Music channel link in bio, man. Check it out. I made a song called Bromo Dragonfly, man. I love y'all. And always, praise Christ.